welcome to the third episode of the Fox and the Ships podcast. My name is Nina and I'm coming here from Sweden. Yes, first of all I wanted to thank you again for subscribing and commenting. It makes me really happy to see how many of you already have found this podcast and commenting on, um, on the episode. So that makes me really happy to read all, to all, all your lovely comments and answer questions. And so, so thank you for that. You can find me on Instagram as Fox and the Sheep and on Ravelry as Nina93. And I also started a Ravelry group, and you can find us as the Fox and the Sheep's Ravelry group. Yeah, let's start and talk a little bit about Edinburgh Yarn Festival because soon it's time. Um, me and my mom are flying on Wednesday morning, early morning, and yes, it's almost there, just a couple of days left. And yes, I'm so excited to finally go to Scotland and yes. Mm. And after the festival, I mentioned that I, me and my mom would go to Inverness a couple of days and spend some day days there in the Highlands. And uh, after that, my mom is going home to Sweden and I am going to Shetland because as I mentioned in the last episode, um, I told you that I wanted to woof a couple of weeks and I didn't know where yet, I said just on somewhere in Scotland but now I have found a farm and it's on Shetland and I will be there two weeks and it's so great, I always have wanted to go to, to Shetland and yes it's perfect I would say for for yarn and sheep lovers like me so I'm really excited to go there and yes, to be near the ocean and see lots of animals and work with sheep and gardening and yeah, I'm so so happy I I can I can go there so so fun. And after these two weeks, my boyfriend Lucas is coming to Scotland and we are spending. Um, six days together in Scotland. We have decided where we will want to go, but we will see. And then I have to hurry home to Sweden because on the 14th um, of April, me and my mom and my sister are hosting a little festival of our own um, in um, Vimirby, there my parents live, and they have a little um, restaurant or cafe there, and we are hosting. Another festival for all the um, fiber yarn lovers in, in Sweden. Some from Norway are coming as well, so that's really fun. Yes, and I'm I'm making doing a little um, workshop in natural dyeing, and I hope I can somehow plan this on the on the plane to to Sweden because we are flying back to Sweden on the 14th, and on the 14th. Um, the fe it's the festival, so it's really not a lot of time. So I have really f busy four weeks ahead of me, but it's that's fun. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I can to tell you a little bit about the the couple of days we are spending in Edinburgh. We are coming uh, to Edinburgh on Wednesday. On Thursday, we are at a knit night at a bar called Hema. Originally we wanted to go to a big knit night, but the kit tickets were sold out in a couple of minutes, so I didn't manage to get tickets. So we're going to a little smaller knit night at this bar, and it, I think there are two bars they are hosting a little knit night, and I chose um, this this bar because Hema is it means um, a home in Swedish, so I thought it was uh, funny, and so I chose. Uh, just this one and if you are there um, it would be so nice so great to to meet you so come and say hi <laughs> if you're there mm. yes um, I can tell you a little bit about the yarn I want to buy at a festival I don't like to to have too much stash so because I get stressed out when I have too much yarn laying around so I have to have a project for the yarn I buy so I, I I want to buy yarn 
Ford uh, Winterfell um, cardigan by Karin Schneider and the yarn she knitted the, the sweater is from La Bien Ami and I really love their yarn I never had the chance to to try it but I know that they are there so I wanted to buy yarn from La Bien Ami for this uh, cardigan and also um, I really like the airy sweater by Isabel Crema in the new um, issue of Land magazine. Um, I really like the, yeah, the cables and I don't think I want to knit it in blue because I want to knit the Winterfell cardigan in, in the this blue colorway and so I maybe if I look after you know, some nice grey um, grey yarn and I also want to buy yarn for my uh, vest I showed you the last episode because I want to make a re um, write a pattern and so I need to re-knit it and I want to knit it in some nice yarn so I will look after yarn for that as well that's the, the these are the three bigger um, projects I want to make and I need yarn for that so then it's I have a little space for yeah just anything a shawl or just something a little smaller but I only have one backpack and I have to bring what lots of warm clothing for Shetland so I don't have so much space in my backpack for yarn <laughs> yes yes we can I think that was all for the festival I'm really looking forward to meet all of the lovely people there and um, it's gonna be so nice to finally meet people I learned um, get to know from from Instagram and already feel like friends but I never met them in real life so that's been gonna be so great to to finally meet them and I can't wait yes let's go on, go on to finished objects because I have two this 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 episode so yeah uh, first I finished my Edinburgh sweater look at this I'm so happy I, I finished it before um we're going and it's the Otis sweater and as I told you in the in the last episode I changed the cable so in the original pattern there's um, a different cable and also there is a cable on the sleeves but I didn't do that because I don't like have the sleeves too too thick I like really um, yeah, fitting tight sleeves they're really um, tight so and I don't like if it's too thick like it feels like a cushion on, on your sleeves so I'm really happy with this it's I'd only have to steam the seams and steam uh, the the cast off I cord cast off, cast off exactly. so it was it was the first time I, I did um I cord bind off and I really like it. I made it here as well. You can see it took a really long time to, to knit it but I think it's really nice, neat and I think I will I will use it more often in different projects because I think it makes a really nice edge. Um, yes, and I have it it's here as well in the sleeves and yeah, so I'm really happy with this um, sweater and I think I will wear it pretty often. Yes. Um, um, I can tell you again what the yarn was. So the yarn was Pickles yarn from from Norway and it's a merino tweed yarn and I hold, held it together with a uh, alpaca lace yarn in the in the body but I hadn't enough for the sleeves so I uh, held it together with another yarn in the sleeves you can see the difference 
So here I used a yarn. It's also a paka and I think 20% silk so it's a little bit more shiny and it was more um, the same color as as the the, uh, the merino and uh, the body it was more gray so you can see it a little bit but I don't mind I think it's yeah I think it's beautiful anyway yes the n another finished object is the Tulsi socks they're finished finished them last week I think and yeah a couple of days ago I went out and I had um, had them in a pair of leather boots and they stayed off on the socks look at this both sides and I hope I can wash it wash it out it would be so sad if I didn't get the stains out so if you have any tips to get out like these stains let me know please because yeah it doesn't look nice mm. Yes, but I'm really happy with the socks. The yarn is beautiful. It's a it's a yarn from Ovis etc. It's a non superwash yarn, and yes, I think I I would like to knit more socks in in this yarn. I really like it. Yes, that was all the finished objects I had this week. I have cast on two more projects. Um, the first one is. I haven't come so far, I can show you, just show you this much. It's the, you see, rusty sweater or cardigan by Steiner Birna Gudjon Stottir, an Icelandic designer. And um, the pattern is more, this is free on Ravelry, it's more like a, a recipe. So, um, yes explains not not so much so you can yeah and and it's um bottom up cardigan but i'm knitting it um bottom down like so like yeah i started up here and trying a little bit yeah but i i never never knitted this way so i wanted to try it and thought yeah I, I try and let, we will see how it goes. And the yarn I use for this one is the Black Hill Silk Wool. So it's 25% silk and 75% wool. And yes, I, I really like the, the feeling of it. It's soft and truly really warm as well. And yes, and I looked up where the yarn was from and it's actually from uh, Scotland, it's a Scottish um, yarn brand. It's uh, Black Hills uh, a mill, uh, family owned I think and I thought it would be great if I could go there and and visit it, why not? So if I I don't know where exactly it is but I want to look it up and if it's near there I am, I am and then maybe I could go there and visit the mill. That would be great. Because I really think it's interesting to yeah, see the process in making yarn. Yes. And the other work in progress I have, it's not so much either, is a hat I started. It just comes so far. Oh, drop some stitches. And Yes, it's just a plain, I just want to make a plain hat um, with a twisted ribbing. And the yarn is the last skein I had from the Triskillian yarn. Um, this luxurious is blend with wool, silk and cashmere, I think, yes. So, let's see what it will become. The next thing I wanted to show you is the things I got in my Fibershare package because I joined Fibershare again for the third time and this time I got a package from New Zealand so I got a lot of New Zealand uh, wool and fiber and yes, that I can start by showing you the yarn these two skeins of hand spun 
actually hand spun yarn this one is hand dyed as well so yeah and this one is let's see 100% um, New, New Zealand Romney wool so it's a little bit scratchier and this one is really soft it's New Zealand Currently wool and it's really soft it feels as soft as, as merino so yeah I really like them I don't know yet what to do maybe I want a hat or something yeah but I think they're really lovely and lovely spun so yeah, this was the yarn I received and then I received lots of fiber so I can start by showing you these two little things, <laughs> really cute. Take it over to show you. I don't know the, what yarn, it, uh, what wool it is, but yeah, it feels like merino, maybe so maybe it's merino. And yellow and green and yes, I'll be ready to spin from. Yes, the next fiber I need is this lovely fiber. And it's actually alpaca. I know it don't look like a paca first look, but it's actually um a Surya paca wool. So I didn't know that were there was two different kinds of alpaca but then I read a little bit about it and um, there's two kinds the Suri alpaca and the I don't remember I will put it down there and this one is the more common alpaca with the curls and the really soft and curly fluffy hair and then there is the Suri alpaca and it has a little bit more straight straight hair a little bit like um, Angora, I, would say, I think if it feels more like a s soft um, Angora than an alpaca and it's really silky and yeah it will be really interesting to to spin spin it I've heard that it's um, difficult to, cha to just only spin this uh, this own because it could can be quite slippery but I, I want to try to to spin it on its own first and then I will see if it doesn't go so well I will uh, mix it with, with some other fiber but I really like this dark dark um, black and I think it could be a really nice um, yarn yes the next fiber I received is this lovely braid of New Zealand wool I don't know what breed, but it's New Zealand wool and yes, really nice, soft and squishy and yes, I really like the cover. Yes, and the last fiber I received is this <laughs> big fleece, piece of fleece. Um, it's a little uh, special, actually a special fleece because it's from the Arapava sheep and uh, this sheep is uh, derived from uh, a wild sheep I think from, from some islands outside New Zealand <coughs> sorry and yeah it feels um, quite soft quite the fiber is quite fine so really bulky so yeah Food still smells like canaline, so yeah, it will be interesting to wash it and spin spin it and look how what it turns out. But it has really lovely colors because it goes from this light beige to brown to dark brown, so yeah, really lovely. So yes, I really am really happy with this fiber share package. And then I also received um, fiber from a viewer of the podcast and she she's from Cuba and she wanted to send me some fiber and I said yes, of course. And yes, it's, I can show you, it's a full bag um, with this um, really spooky uh, wool. 
it's not um, no lux luxurious wool, but uh, she she said it would be great for socks. So I think I will I will try to spin a little bit and yes, I think it would be great for um, felting as well um, because I I really like to felt uh, animals or different different things. So maybe can try. It different things because I have a big bag for, for this wool. So thank you so much Valerie for sending me this uh, this wool. Yes that was everything about knitting and fiber so I think we can go, go on to lost bins. Yes, since the last time I had my shop update and I sold um, all my all the little spins in the shop, but I have a few left I can show you. They're not dry yet, so I can send them away. Um, and I have a few custom orders I can show you. Uh, they're quite special, so I can start by showing you a custom order for this Corgi Lover. Yes, I'm really happy with this little corgi. It took me three tries to, to get it right. Like I start three times over with different pieces of wood and finally I found the perfect um, piece. It's um, oak wood and just a fresh, fresh oak wood so it, it's really light. Um, yes, and I'm really happy with the outcome. I think he's really cute. And re almost ready to send away, almost dry. So, yes. yes. And the mm. next custom order is this little box. I am really, really happy with it. It's. I think it's the pe best. One of one of the best pieces I have made. And so I'm really, really proud of this little one. Um, and I really like his colors. I really love the new new oil paint I, I ordered, and it, because it's it's natural pigments in in the in the paint and linseed oil, so it's you can see that the natural it's really natural. So yes, I really love him. He also is almost dry and ready to to come to its new home. Yes, and one more I wanted to show you is this little vermine I made. I think I showed you a little brown um, last last time, um, but I I got inspired. I wanted to make a little white one as well with the black with the black tip, and yes, it's a really tiny nose spinner. Um, yes, but I really like him. I'm really happy with the little face. Turns out, turned out really cute. Yes. And also, I made a new thing. It's this little crochet hook. And I actually have made. I start started this like a year ago or something. I'm not quite. But many months ago. I started this and I found it a couple of weeks ago in a bag full of wood pieces and, and knives and such stuff and I finished it and painted, painted this little dove and put it in the Etsy shop so yeah I'm really really happy and I think I will I, I'm gonna make more crochet hooks with different birds maybe or some maybe a little little fox or something. We'll see. Yes, that was all of the nest pins I had I could show you. No oh, actually I have one more. This little owl I will bring to the festival because there's someone who wants her there and I will 
pack her in my backpack and bring her to Scotland. So she's flying, she's flying with me. <laughs> and she's not quite um, done yet. I have still have to make the dots on the wings and uh, here and everything. And but she has to try a little bit more, and then I will finish her. And I hope, I really hope, she will try completely uh, until Wednesday because. I don't want the paint destroyed when, when I have to pack, pack her down in my backpack, but I think it will be okay. Yes, that was everything for this episode. Um, I will record a new episode when I get back to, to Sweden in about a month. And then I will have a lot, a lot to show and to talk, talk about. Um, so stay tuned for that and I see you next time and I maybe see you at the festival so if you see me there just come and say hi I would like love to to meet you so yes I see you bye